Okay, so as I was saying, good morning to everyone and congratulations for making it to batch six. So as we all know, it's a stand-up time and um, just uh, briefing if you've not get caught up on what's going on, it's just in, um, like a summary of your challenge, uh, what you've been doing, what you did yesterday, what you plan on doing and uh, any blockers you've had so far. We also have a submission today, so maybe just give us an update on whether you think you'll make it for this submission. So before we start, and as I wait for volunteers to, for the hands to come up, the volunteers, do we have any announcements from the Latin Academy team? Uh, hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Anstey. So, can you hear me? Good morning. Yes. Oh, uh, so, okay. So, we have a submission today, and I've seen that some of you have already submitted, which is good. And uh, I would like to say that make sure that you are all submitting the correct link. Uh, I remember in week zero, most of you have been submitting your profile and not your GitHub repo to the project you're working on. So make sure that you are submitting the right repo link and and also make sure that you're submitting on the on the assigned place where in, in Google Class where it says hand in. So if you submit a wrong link, then unsubmit and submit again. Because when we are grading, we get the we get the submitted assignments on Phoenix and we can't access the ones you 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 submit on the chat. So whenever you submit, make sure that you are sending on the assigned place, on the right place. So yeah, that's that's the announcement. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Nados and the reminder, Everest, you have something to add? Thanks, uh, thanks Anastasia and Nados, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Right. So I have two announcements. One, of course, is the you, you have seen my message on, on Slack regarding the appropriate languages we require you to use. So I want to emphasize on this because to be essential for you guys when you go to the workplace. Let's please, of course, we, we have to, we are not limiting you to make it fun, but yeah, let's use proper languages. So it can be like a barrier to others and it can also discourage other teams when we are seeing some, of course, improper language or terms. So let's bear that in mind. Another one is, of course, I'm going to, to give this on behalf of Emilia. It's, it's, it's about the hot seat. And I know he has already communicated to you guys on, on Slack. It will be today. I know. Uh, I think the, the hot seat person for today is Margaret. I hope you guys have questions, and it will have to be fun. It has to be at the end of the stand up. So Emilia will be jumping in for to moderate the sessions. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Evarist, for that. So without additional announcements from the team, we'll go uh, straight into this. One more. One more. Sorry. Okay, Nadis. Okay, so the submission time is usually uh, written on, it's not on UTC, so keep in mind. And I've seen that most of you thought it was already passed, but it's not on UTC, so check that out. And make sure it's not, it's instant your time zone, so yeah. Okay, thank you, Nado. So to clarify that, the deadline is 8 p.m. UTC, but Google Classroom does the, the changes into your time zone. So just follow the exact time that, that is shown on the Google Classroom. But as most of you are, I think it is 8 p.m. UTC, but the Google Classroom time has already been changed to your own time. Okay, so... Without much to add, we'll just go straight into the stand-up. Do we have volunteers or should we start calling names? Do we have volunteers? I'll let volunteers, volunteers to 
okay with that technology i'll just start uh calling out random names so just yes just yes are you there with us could you start with us okay hello hello i can hear you okay uh yesterday was a little bit challenging but i was able to overcome my my weakness uh, I tried, I'm working on the last one too, and uh, I'm almost at the end remaining the principal, the PCA, which is a little bit challenging for me. So I will finish with that and start the report in order to be able to submit it on time. Uh, after that, I will start the career exercise in order to not be surprised with the time because I think Friday is short. So it's all for me. Okay, thank you, Joseph, for that. You've mentioned uh, it was challenging yesterday. Uh, so just to ask, did you have any blockers? Is there something that's hindering you from uh, continuing or maybe making tonight's submission? Yeah, I think I was able to overcome all the blockers. Okay, that is that is very good to hear. Okay, so let's go next to Gennett. Okay, thank you uh, so much. Good morning or good evening for everyone. <clears throat> I yesterday I was uh, uh, my day was not good. Uh, I was uh, uh, face a little bit a uh, an electronic. Uh, or disturbance due to that I was not a tense above the session also uh, for almost half days there's no electric power around me uh, I was I should travel to other places to get the electric uh, power and after that uh, uh, I was uh, okay and I, I was trying to do on the challenges like to explore some of the variables which, uh, and uh, to come up with a, a, from the data set to come up with a, a good or a bit of predictions idea uh, still I'm working on that that's okay today I'm fine and good thank you okay thank you Janet for that update and to sorry to hear about the power power issues so just as an advice to everyone who may uh, may get power outages today yeah just consider submitting a little bit earlier than the deadline because you don't know what will happen toward the deadline so just plan yourself in a way that you will submit just a little bit earlier before the deadline okay next we go to Jen Ross. Uh, hello hello um, I am still continuing with the tasks. Uh, there have been some issues along the way, but I've been able to overcome them. And right now I'm still continuing. I'd end up generating the slides and then submitting. But I think I'm on a good track. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that update, Generous, short but uh, precise and um, straight to the point. So I think we'll just go next to the Gaga. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, uh, starting from yesterday, I have been working on task one. Uh, I've tried to do some statistical analysis, like uh, finding the mean, the mode, and the standard division and also the decile or quartiles, which help me to understand uh, the user overview analysis. Uh, I'm, I'm still working on that, and uh, I'm also preparing for the submission that we have today. That is, thank you. Okay, thank you, Degaga, for that um, update. Again, very good to hear that you are making progress with the tasks. I'd go next to someone, but there's no other volunteer. I don't know if uh, we have a volunteer before I pick out another name. Yes, Adijat. Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, I've been 
uh, since Monday, I've been data cleaning. So I've been trying to integrate my files, discrete to my together. So I ate a bug yesterday. Actually, it's not a bug. I think it's just the Anaconda, Anaconda Jupyter notebook. So I had to ditch it. it it gave me a lot of trouble yesterday. So I have dished it this morning and I'm on Google Colab. So I'm progressing to the next task at the moment. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Adijad, for that update. Sorry to hear your um, the technical issues you faced, but then again, it's, uh, it's really commendable that you did take another approach and Google Colab also works just fine. Okay, so we'll just go next to Nahom. Nahom Habte Michael. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yesterday was uh, okay. Uh, yesterday was a good day. Uh, productivity wise, uh, I faced some issues, but I managed to fix most of them. Uh, that is thanks to the Slack community for facing the same questions as I asked me. Uh, and uh, I think I'm on track to finish and submit on time. Uh, it was also a fun day. Uh, I had fun during the community building sessions and I'm looking forward to the hot sitter uh, and ask questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you Naho for that. That was very positive and I hope um, to give some positive energy to everyone here so just going straight next to andenet uh, good morning everyone uh okay. yesterday yesterday were was a very uh productive day for me but there was some power outage issues uh, where i live so uh, i find it very difficult to attend uh, the career building uh, i mean career training session I, I wasn't able to fully attend the call, uh, but uh, I'm hoping to get uh, to see the recorded uh, meeting session. Uh, Task-wise, I am able to uh, uh, tackle some of the tasks or some of the challenges I need to be working on during uh, these two days. And I feel like I mean, the right track to complete today's challenge. Uh, and I'm looking forward to ask some spicy questions for the whole sitter for today. Okay, and then it, uh, I was looking forward to hear those hot questions. And um, it's good to hear that you are on track with the, with the challenge. Okay, so we'll just go next to Tibarek. Tibarek. Okay, um, good morning everyone. So, um, this past two days I was working on cleaning my data and uh, trying to finish uh, the tasks that were given on task one. And uh, actually I was uh, uh, able to solve most of the tasks, but uh, I still have some challenges that I need to catch up on. So, uh, I am working on to finish them. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tibarek, for that. So before we go on to the next person, what challenges are you real facing? And have you tried maybe to reach out to someone or the Slack group? <clears throat> yes, uh, actually, uh, some of the challenges uh, I have solved were actually uh, by the help of uh, the community on the Slack. But uh, the challenges I am facing is uh, related to uh, uh, to connect the, the two different types of uh, columns. For example, uh, on task one, there is a, a, a task that we have to combine the handset type and uh, the handset uh, manufacturer to uh, know the top five uh, handset types that that are manufactured by the handset ma uh, manufacturers, the top three handset manufacturer. So I'm not sure how to solve that, and uh, I'm actually reaching out on Slack uh, to solve those problems. 
uh, that, that was uh, one of the main challenges I have faced. Okay, thank you for sharing that in detail. So maybe just to ask before we go on to you, Egide, <clears throat> anyone who is here who has been able to solve that issue for Tibarek, just uh, could you say in the chats, maybe we could connect you with Tibarek direct and just help her with them. Um, with that challenge. So could I have volunteers willing to help Tibarek direct, somebody who has been able to tackle that challenge? Yes, so Natsnail, Natsnail is that for helping or uh, for the stand-up? <coughs> Natsnail. Uh, I, I was willing, uh, I was, I raised my hand to help her. Ah, okay, that is that is very great. So <clears throat> Tibarek Natnail is willing to help. So you could just DM him direct and I know that issue will be solved in no time. Okay, so just just going straight next to Gide. All right, good morning. So uh, yesterday was a productive day. Uh, I was working on ETA and data cleaning. Uh, it's, it's, it's really going well, no blocker so far, but I had uh, some questions that kept coming in my head and I was like, probably you should uh, bring that uh, here or on Slack so that we can discuss regarding the feeling and values. Uh, and uh, the other challenge I had is on GitHub, probably was because of the, I tried to upload the the data file but it's not really like a block as such because i'm still able to work maybe i can also come back to that later and, and try to fix it okay so i don't know if i got the try to saying you in addition to the filling null values you have an issue with um, <coughs> uploading the data to github yes yes so there is an error uh, and I think it's uh, it's, a, it's related to the data file that I uploaded I plotted before, which was big, uh, about fifty-two megabyte. And yeah, I think I'll come back to that later and try to fix it when I'm done with the EDA and everything. And I can find a way to solve it. And if I could not solve it, I can take it to Slack. Yeah, and uh, about filling non-values uh, is the way that we are trying to solve it. And so I just wanted to hear about how other people are doing and probably should take that to Slack or here. Okay, so first for the data, as I, I see both Andenet and Tamara saying, the best way is to not use large data that we have and uh, we use the dot .igno file to just ignore everything in everything in the data folder. Uh, in the week zero, the document was very clear on how to do this. So you could actually refer to the week yeah. zero document. But yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. I, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. I actually did it because I knew that uh, the the limit is 100 megabytes. So I was like, okay, I, sh I should let it go and it caused the problem. So yeah, I'll have to solve it and put it in on, on uh, git ignore oh, okay so if you get more errors it could also something to do with catching maybe because if you did push it the first time the second time they don't ignore file don't work just directly so just try to solve it as you said i think um you are you are ready to solve it but don't spend too much time on that error if you just feel like you need help talk yeah. on slack and the community will help you same thing with the filling null values i don't know there are so many ways to do this so if we do start a discussion on that it could be a little bit extensive maybe uh documents or resources could be shared on that you know there are many ways of filling a null value so if i if i get a resource i'll share if yeah. anyone else is here and they already have a resource we can also share on how we deal with now, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, should I bring up the question that I had about field down, or should I take that to Slack? Sorry. Uh, do you want me to talk about the questions that I had about uh, 
feeling missing values on, on, on the call or you want me to put it on Slack? Put it on Slack because I know that discussion can be extensive on feeling null values. So just put it on okay. Slack and let's start. Um, yeah, even Fish, Fish Fiseha Stefano has, yeah, I see you've seen that. Okay, so just start that discussion on Slack, and I think most most of the people here and not here will benefit um, from that discussion. Okay, so I see there are no other um, volunteers, but uh, there are some responses from the chats. So as I wait for a volunteer, your, your hands will go next, and just read um, this update by, was it Neserat? It's in the Surat. You can just your hands go next. Just go ahead. Your hands. Okay, good morning, Monsieur. Good morning, good morning everyone. Good morning. Yeah, okay. Well, the survey was uh, fine despite the uh, broken about the power outage. It seems like most of our trains are suffering from the power outage in Tokyo. Uh, but in the afternoon, uh, it was nice. Uh, I tried to cover up or uh, compensate in the night. I uh, spent uh, almost half of the night uh, working on my assignment. And I have tried to manage that. Put on uh, the ADA. Almost finished them. And now I'm about to look on the user overview analysis. And hopefully, uh, I will try to uh, finish it before the submission. Uh, that's on my side. Thank you. Okay, thank you, your hands for that update. Again, very sorry to hear about the power outage issues. Is this something specific, maybe on a certain location in Ethiopia, or is it just Ethiopia-wide, maybe just to confirm, because this is the third time someone has mentioned a power issue? Yeah, so it's in Tara, but uh, in, uh, the, the region I live, there's uh, actually rain, it's because of that. Sorry, I didn't get that. Well, the rain, uh, it's, it's because of the rain. It's because of, uh, I think. It seems like a rain season in the rich land, it's still the rain in this week, that's why the U.S. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, so sorry to hear about that, guys. So as I had said earlier, if you have these issues and if the rain is still there, just consider submitting earlier than the deadline so the deadline does not catch up with you. Okay, so I've also seen from the chats that Nile Singh also has the issue with filling null values and is suggesting maybe dropping them. So, like I said, this is this could be an extensive discussion. There are many ways of dealing with null values, and uh, as as I had mentioned to Egide, let's start this discussion on Slack and that Nile look out for that discussion, and I think you'll also benefit from that discussion. Okay, so let's just go next to at Miriam. Hello, did I Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for having me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you Hello. if you can hear me. Can anyone else hear me or maybe at the Miriam? Yeah, loud and clear. Everyone can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. But my network is poor, I think. Okay, so just go ahead because I think we can hear you and I think we'll get your updates. Hello. Okay, mm -hmm. let just I'll give us. Ah, okay, that is that is perfect. Okay, so as I wait for the next volunteer to go, do we have any volunteers? Okay, so I see most people are doing their updates on um, on the chat, so. Just mess it. Thank you. I don't see. Okay, so there's a challenge from Meserat. The challenge was on multivariate analysis. So have you been able to solve that 
Meseret, I see you had a challenge with the multivariate analysis. Have you been able to solve that? Have you been able maybe to talk about it on Slack or share it with someone else? Meseret, if you can unmute or maybe just reply on chats if you have an issue with your mic. Okay, so no response from Mr. Is he still here? Yes, he's here. So I also see another challenge on dealing with uh, dimensionality reduction. Has anyone been able to do dimensionality reduction without a challenge? I think this is the one that uses PCA. So could I just have maybe a communication with the team if there's anyone who has been able to do dimensionality reduction or is it a general issue that we need to cover anyone okay so yes abne i think i uh, will share a resource on um dimensionality reduction i'm assuming the silence means that most of us haven't been able to tackle that that yet uh so just in case i i forget yes abne do reach out to me on slack and we will share oh the gaga has done the dimensionality reduction part so the gaga and your sub name maybe if this could be helpful to the community you could start a thread on uh all week one and just uh have a discussion on that or uh if the community no just just do a discussion on slack i think that will help so many people so i also see an update from mt9 and mt9 is a little worried about not making the deadline is it because of the issue on github or uh, do you have another issue that makes you worried about the deadline mt9 mt9 yeah, should I talk? I speak. Yeah, sure. Hello. Yes, I know I fixed the problem with my GitHub, but uh, because I'm still uh, cleaning the data now, uh, mm -hmm. I haven't started on the other steps. But um, I'm a bit a little worried, but uh, I will try extra hard to make the deadline. Yeah, uh, I will have to ex work extra hard today. Okay, so. Thank you for clarifying that. So maybe just an advice to you and everyone else. When the time comes for submission, just do the submission of what you've managed to do. Maybe because the report is, uh, is uh, a report of something you've already done. Just uh, point is show the effort of the submissions. Do your report, your slides. Also submit your GitHub link on time. And whatever you manage to do will, be, will grade the effort that you've showed not completing the work so don't be afraid to submit because you've not finished what is being asked the deliverable being asked okay so just going on next a, any volunteers or maybe who has not spoken so i want us to finish early because of the hot seat so we are targeting to finish by around uh, in 11 minutes so Emmanuel, Emmanuel zedu i don't think i've heard from you could you go ahead give us your update Emmanuel zedu and how do you spell your name first so Emmanuel. Emmanuel, are you there with us? Okay, something something is wrong with uh, from Emmanuel's side. Either he cannot hear us or maybe he's not there. So let's just go next to Fish. Fish, say huh? Can I call you Fish? Yeah, definitely. You can call me Fish. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was a nice day yesterday. Uh, I, I was lucky enough not to have the power cut, and uh, I I completed. I thought I completed task one, but as it turns out, when I <laughs> do the some of the tasks on task two, I saw a really bad problem which I didn't see earlier, and uh, the way I 
calculated some values was wrong and it was giving me the same type of uh, same uh, the same value for everything so uh, maybe it's my problem or maybe this happens to the most of us so I really hope you guys check uh, how your data are getting filled because now I'm going back and trying to approach the, the task one in a different manner uh so that was a challenge for me uh that being said there is no problem there's no other problem and um, i i think i am doing well so thank you okay thank you for that fish so i think that is uh, commendable when you go ahead and uh, come back and do some check up on what you did because i think even in the real world you'll find yourself doing a lot of iteration just to make maybe your end goal be what your client works. So that is uh, commendable that you're actually going back and something that the others should, all, should also note on uh, just to be very specific on what they do for in task one so that it is continuous with task two as well. So I don't know if we have any other um, volunteer. Emmanuel, are you still there? Can you hear us? Manuel, and uh, do we have any volunteers? So I, I also see an update from Hermela on chats. Okay, so you have an issue with the internet, so that's understandable. Yesterday was nice working on cleaning and understanding the data. You could not be able to finish the tasks fully. Okay, so sorry to hear about the power issues again, Hermela. I hope you've been hearing what I said from the beginning. Just um, focus on what you are able to do within the time that you have. With, uh, and uh, since we don't know about the power that is very unpredictable, again, like the rest, consider doing your submission earlier than, than normal. So do we have any other volunteer? Can I call out another two random names? So I'll just pick another two random names, a lady and um, yes, Johannes. Johannes has come in for the guys, but I'll pick up a random lady. Then we can go now to the hot seat. So Johannes, Johannes, go ahead. Okay, thank you for having me. Hello. I'm yes, me. hello. Yes. Uh, yesterday was a uh, challenging uh, day for me uh, because I was struggling with missing uh, value and the uh, ECA and understanding the data and the uh, like. But uh, thanks to Slack community, uh, uh, I try to fix the thing and uh, now I am. Uh, already going to conclude the task one. Uh, again, the challenge I faced was uh, my GitHub uh, also uh, got in problem. And, uh, I fixed uh, the problem uh, with the help of my friends uh, who helped me physically uh, to fix uh, my GitHub. This all about uh, my yesterday's uh, Ask. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Johannes, for that update. And it's again very recommendable to hear that you're working with a friend, already calling them friends. So that is very good to hear. So to finish, I'll pick a random lady and uh, Hannah, Hannah Desta. Can you hear me? Hannah Desta. Okay, Tejisti, Tejisti Haley, can you hear me? Tejisti. Okay, can you guys hear me? I hope I'm, oh, Hannah. You can yeah, hear you me, can. I think we you can, can hear, hear me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so Hannah, good. Hannah, go ahead. Hi. Hannah, I saw your hand up, so Hannah, go ahead.
Hannah, is there an issue? Maybe could you update us on the chats? What's going on? Because I see you're unmuting, and then muting again. So maybe just update us, update us on the on the chats if there's an issue, and uh, we can come back to you. Because I see another hand from Henok. So maybe Henok, just give us your update as we wait to hear um, yeah. feedback from Hannah. Hello. Hello. So I've been working on uh, the task one. And uh, <clears throat> I have already concluded uh, working on uh, exploratory data, data analysis, uh, working on the uh, univariate and uh, bivariate uh, data analysis. Uh, and also, I am now about to uh, uh, jump working on the principal component analysis. Uh, that's all for me, and uh, I have a blocker. Thank you for that, Henok. It's good to hear that you're on track. Birhanu, Birhanu, you can go next. Still waiting to hear from Hannah on on the chats, but Birhanu, you can go next. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, from my side, yesterday was a little bit uh, challenging, but uh, I try to fix the challenge that happened. Uh, first, I start by cleaning my uh, data. So I lose uh, more time uh, to fix it. Uh, and uh, then I, after I clean, the, I clean the data, I try to focus on the task one, that uh, user overview analysis. And uh, I uh, then the subtask of the first uh, top uh, column and that uh, filter. Uh, then I try to uh, work on the Aggregate, uh, uh, aggregate the column per uh, user of the column somewhat that is a little bit to aggregate uh, multiple column a little bit uh, challenging me, but I ask uh, my colleagues and uh, I get the solution. Now uh, I try to conclude the task one and uh, work on uh, univariant and uh, bivariant and also a uh, correlation analysis and uh, damage reduction. Uh, at the end, uh, today I try to finish and I, I will submit on time. That's all. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that update. Bethano, good to hear that you are also on track and making, making progress. So I don't know if there's anyone else who's feeling left out, who feels like they need to share this morning. It would be really nice to hear from TGST and Hannah. I noticed that Hannah dropped, but uh, TGST, if you're still there and you can hear us, maybe either unmute and give us your update or say something on the chats. Otherwise, if uh, we don't get, there's no one else willing to share, uh, by in a, in a minute, I'll just hand over to a million for that hot seat as we wait to learn more about one of our Oh. All right, thank you very much, uh, Anastasia. Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Let me confirm that. Yes, loud and clear. Thank you very much. So today we're going to have the hot seat. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this. You know. So without further ado, let's welcome the hot seat of today. Are you guys ready to welcome the hot seat of today? Drum rolls in the chat box. You guys can show the excitement in the chat box so that we welcome the hot seat today and prepare your hot seat questions. Right. Prepare your hot session questions. Uh, we're just starting right now. As we welcome uh, the hot seat of today, I will present the screen for you guys to see the hot seat of today. All right, hope maybe my screen can be seen. We welcome Margaret from Kenya. This name is really hard to announce, but Margaret. So Margaret, please, uh, you can open your video Make sure you also uh, had really good, then you can answer the questions, right? So everyone who have a question, any question, please, you have the floor. You can either chat in the chat box, you can open a mic and ask, then you go on. Let's have fun. Um, hi, hi everyone. It's um, nice to be the first hot seat host, and I hope that we have some fun and remember that tomorrow this hot set could be you and i'll be the one asking questions so <laughs> <laughs> be mindful 
<laughs> and I welcome your questions. Okay, you can raise up a hand if you want to ask, or maybe in the chat box. I have ever raised. Do you have a question? I can see your hand raised, or maybe it's the. Hi, Margaret. What's the meaning of your last name? Uh, Chepkirui. Chepkirui means um, I was born at night when people are sleeping. The name R U before I uh, stands for sleep in Kalenjin. If you don't know Kalenjin, it's uh, it's a tribe in Kenya, Kipsigis. Yeah, Kalenjin yeah, or Kipsigis. Amazing. That was easy, right? That was yeah. so easy to answer. <laughs> I can see. The Gaga, uh, hand raised. You have a question? The Gaga. Your favorite quote? Someone asked. Um, my favorite quote is um, it's on my it's on my. Sorry. Um, my favorite quote is um, I don't have a favorite quote, but I have a lot of um, affirmations that I keep repeating to myself, and they're always positively geared. Um, I don't have a favorite quote. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have some questions in the chat box. Maybe if um, you don't mind, I can read for you. Or maybe if you can manage to read them and answer, that would, that would be fine. Um, okay. How would you describe yourself in three words? Um, motivated and I have big dreams and I hope to get them. Are you single? I am <laughs> dating myself, yes, and <laughs> focused on an academy. Uh, what is the most bizarre thing you've ever witnessed someone else do? Um, hmm. um, I, I could say it was done to me by um, some, uh, it was a it was a group of policemen who in town in Nairobi CBD who took me in inside their car and mis they had mistaken me for someone who's selling um, clothes by the roadside. So it was so bizarre and I felt so bad. Um, how far is Nairobi from your hometown? It's six, six hour drive. How is it living in Kenya? Um, Kenya is nice, depends on where you live, but I prefer the countryside because the air is a bit um, nicer. In the city, the air is a bit dusty and it's always crowded <laughs> sometimes. Uh, what is your favorite book? I read a lot of self-help books and um, I don't have a favorite book at the moment, but I read a lot of self-help books. Uh, do you think aliens believe in humans? Um, I also think we're aliens, um, according to the other aliens. Other aliens here yes, as aliens too. So possibly the world is too, the universe is too big for us to. Who would you consider to be a hero? Um, a lot of people I follow their footsteps from my parents to um, the people, the, the strong women in the tech industry who've managed to um, push through and be and make their voices seen or visible uh, in a world that is full of patriarchy. What is your career plan in terms of machine learning and data science? Um, I hope to join uh, um, my career plan. I have a background in GIS and I hope to be very 
um, fluent with data science and hopefully get a good remote job. Um, that is exciting because I don't want to um, have a, I don't know, something exciting that challenges me every day to work harder, which is something that can always make you laugh. Um, dog videos, um, I think they're cute. Do you have a pet? I used to have a cat, but she ran away. Uh, what are the three, three topics you could talk about for hours on end? Um, I always talk about um, three topics that I could talk about for hours. Um, huh, that's a tricky one. I'll come. I'll come back to it when I think about it. Additional question: Do you think humans are aliens? Um, it depends. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think aliens are, um, they're just maybe people from, or creatures from another planet that we haven't met. So if the other planet hasn't met us yet, then I think we're aliens to them. I don't know. What do you think about boys' physical? Um, huh. The, I think the question is like, what do you like about boys? Like, uh, what do you think? What do I like about boys? Um, the the mindset and how mindset, character, and how they carry themselves in a day to day. And Sorry for interruption. They asked a physical thing. Maybe <laughs> no asked. What do you like uh, about boys? Like physical. physical. They like their eyes. I don't know. Um, hmm. no, I, I have no specific preference. I'll know when I see which is the one food you would never share. Avocado, uh, which is the most embarrassing thing you've done when you're a child and after you've grown up as an adult. Ah. Um, hmm. I can't remember. I'll, I'll come back to the question when I remember. Who is your role model? Uh, there's this lady called Bosman, uh, Bozoma Saint. She's a chief marketing director of Netflix and she's from Ghana and she's previously worked with Uber and other big companies too and she always, she's always strong on women empowerment so I choose my role model. Do you like football? Um, not really. I am never interested in football. Can you list three most important persons in your life? My parents and my family and my close friends and also the, anyone who helps me um, get by the day in whichever form even people on slack are also important to me um would you rather age physically from the neck down or age physically from the neck up it's a weird question um i would rather <laughs> age physically <laughs> from the neck up it doesn't make sense from the neck up if you find out the day you're going to die what will you do i will probably go bungee jumping or anything just fly from the air to the earth what motivates you to wake up every morning i want to have a very good life and travel the world um i have only i think i've only been to Kenya, so I really want to explore the world and that motivates me to wake up early, get to work and hopefully get a job that can support my, my dreams. What is your favorite IDE language for S Linux? Uh, my favorite language is uh, Python, IDE, Visual Studio Code. Operating system, I still use Windows. I haven't really explored Linux. If you could change one thing about yourself, 
what would it be? Um, I would change the constant. I think it would be my thoughts um, to always major on the positive rather than the anxious thoughts. Android or iOS? iOS. Hot. Yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Uh, what is your favorite friends or how I met your mother? Both of them. All of them. If you had fun while you were wasting time. Okay. Uh, so, sorry for interruption, maybe. It seems yeah. like you have a lot of questions, but I would maybe like uh, people to speak more than writing. Maybe let's just come like two or three people to okay. ask, like speak, open your mic and speak. Maybe if your question has, has been answered in the chat box, you can open your mic and speak. We have Adiji. Do you have a fourth question? Like Hi. Very fourth question? Hi, Adiji. Can go on. Hi. Hi. Uh, you've been doing well. You've been doing really well. Sorry? You didn't answer my question. I, I asked if you uh, you'd rather age from the neck up or from the neck down. Um, I think I would rather age from the neck up and keep my body. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. So would you rather know the day of your death? If you don't want to talk about this, please stop. Um, I don't mind talking about death. Um, would you rather... Mm. The date of your death or the cause of the death? No, not really. I would not like to know the day I'll die. Um, I think I like uncertainties. It okay. brings. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I'll be timing. I'll be timing the question and the answers. But we have Wangui. Wangui, please. Like, if you can make it first, then two more people, then we end. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, my question is, what's your favorite piece of stationery? Um, probably sticky notes. I have them all over my, my room next to my bed in the bathroom. Sticky notes. All right. Yes. Uh, the last person, let's Nahum. hear from Nahom. Nahom, please, your hot question. OK, good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Nahum. Uh, my question is, uh, what was your most recent uh, random act of kindness? Thank you. Um, random act of kindness. Um, I think it's uh, giving the little coins that always remain on my pockets to the street kids in town. There are so many. Um, not not uh. me. Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, can hear you. Okay. Uh, I see you like uh, how I met your mother, and I want to ask you one question about that. Okay. Uh, who's your uh, best couple in how I, how I met your mother? That that didn't end up being a couple at the end of the movie. Um, I I don't think we've ever. I don't think they've. I don't think I've reached to the place where they actually, where the main character actually meets the, the, the mother. But um, I also don't uh, know the names of the characters. I never keep tabs. But sorry, what was your question again? Uh, your favorite couple, but that didn't end up being a couple at the end of the movie. My favorite what? Couples. Couple. Um, I I don't quite remember. It's it's been a while since I watched it. Okay, okay. But there's there's the one there's the one scene where the, uh, there was a wedding and then the lady jumped through the the window. I think those two are my favorite couple. All right. All right, yeah. thank you, thank you. I think maybe he's answered. Ooh. I can see one more hand raised. Let's just see, hear from him. Uh Fis? Officer, please make it quick. Yeah. Uh, hi, Cherry. Nice to see you again. <laughs> uh, hi. Any guilty pleasures? Um. Yeah, I love to eat a lot of sugary stuff, cakes, bake them, although it's not good for my health. And I stress it a lot. 
All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I think maybe we can end up uh, the hot seat today. We can end up from here. But before maybe we leave the call, I would love to ask from uh, the audience, what did, what one thing did you learn from this? Or what did you learn from the hot seater? Yes, you can open your mic and speak. That one thing that you learned from this uh, session or you learned from the hot seater, it was really hot, you know. One it thing was then... Really hot. Hot. Mm, yes, please. Maybe, maybe I learned. I learned maybe she's not really uh, happy to be the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Another person, maybe? Uh, okay. I, I learned. I've, I've, I've actually been asking people that question. Those And I learned that people don't really want to talk about their death. And you are calm with that. And you yeah, are one of the first person that chose the course over the dates. I'd rather know the dates though. Thank you. All right. Um, All right. I think for my side, what I learned from the hot seats is it really juggles your mind and makes your mind shift to different places at the same time and it's kind of mind opening. And I would really it was it was a good experience. Fantastic. So how are you feeling now? Like, how is it feeling now? <laughs> I'm a little bit sweaty. I'm still a bit nervous, but a bit excited that I got through it. I think I handled it okay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. So uh, let's end it by today. We can end it from here. So thank you very much, Margaret. And thank you, everyone who, who made us question. So today's uh, whole seat is just uh, ending by here. And let's wait tomorrow. Thank you very much. So I will ask uh, someone from the team, the Academy team, to end up the call. Thank you. Thank you. You can stop recording, maybe.